So I just updated my Vision Pro to the Beta OS 2.2. And what it allows us to do is get more real estate. Since I spend a lot of time editing in Final Cut Pro, and here you can see Final Cut Pro laid out on my MacBook Pro, and I have no problem rendering 8K in real time on it because of the two 8K engines in the M3 processor that is in my MacBook Pro. Now, you can see here, down at the bottom, you see all the icons. We're going to revisit those. And also, notice how all of these little windows, each of these are about 5 to 8 seconds. But I cannot grab and do anything with the transition. So let's bring this into the Vision Pro. To do that, we want to get rid of the current icons and immediately comes up the connect. So we're going to click on that. And you don't need to bring your hand up to click. You, it's just as easy to have them down here. That now is almost three times as wide as my MacBook Pro screen. I'm going to turn my head because I know the screen recording does not see everything I see. So here's the laptop and I'm looking up. But notice how this is an 8K piece of video and that with here is just slightly smaller than my entire screen now. That's half of it because I've got two fish eyes. So they would have filled this much down on my screen. That's the entire video. In addition to that, I have my timeline and I have my resources laid out here. I am using this almost full screen, but not completely because you can see the background behind it. You can also see the icons has gotten bigger because there's more bottom. But we came to look at the really bigger option. So let's go up to Mac Virtual Display. We tap, and again, I don't have to bring my hand up. I can put it down here, and I'm going to go to wide. Now watch this going to grow. And just like that, this expanded. So here is the same what was on our screen. And see how it's not expanding fully anymore? Because, and I'm actually in low resolution. I have to emphasize this. This is not the high res. Then this would all get smaller. For me, I like it like this. I don't need higher resolution to study her, the hair or anything. But let's check what resolution we are getting. So over here, I can't click on that. I have to use my mouse trackpad. Let's get to general and let's go down to displays. And there you can see it. So I am right now at 3660 by 1440. That's the default. That's actually pretty low res. And notice they actually, the 50 by 2160. So we have about a 5 to 2 ratio here, 5 to 2.5, 5 to 2.1. So let's go up and increase the resolution just to see. Boom. That is 50. Notice how this got almost half as big instantly. I can comfortably read the file names here. I don't know if you can read those on the screen capture because the screen capture is only 1080p and we are talking about 8k resolution here so you probably can't see what i can see so we could go even further 67 by 28 so up here now that is what we had on our screen a little bit wider but look at that that's a lot of real estate that's the medium wide i'm gonna go back to the default the default here actually gives me tons of information for what I need. Now, you can see I could easily put and arrange a couple of folders over here with my resources like that. Here's another one, another resource folder. It's a render folder right here, right? So the great thing about I can click on the space bar and it opens up and this is my stereo shot, and if I arrow down, I get more shots. 
Okay, so enough of that. Space bar. But this is the wide. We came from the standard, which is about here, which is what I've been using since I got the Vision Pro. Now we're on the wide mode, but we of course came for the ultra wide. So let's ultra wide. Sitting still. Oh, did you see that? It just pulled out to the sides all the way over there. And I'm right now in 51, 51, 20 by 1440. And this is a very comfortable resolution. And it's the default lower resolution, not even the medium. So let's pull this to the foreground. We have these two, so we can use this the way it is right now, where I can see my folders. See, I have my render folder out here. I'm trying to avoid looking around because I, for me, it's like looking at a screen, but I know for you. And over here, we have YouTube open. So, oh, here's boat getting ready to get painted. This is a long time ago. That's YouTube, get back into our folder. Now notice, here's my laptop screen. And here's my 8K up here. In an ideal world, at this point, I would like to take my timeline and be able to shove it over here and put my video scopes here in a smaller size and put my tool here in a smaller size so I can get more of these guys. So where's my, let me go find my scopes. They go right here. I think they could be optimized for this size. Oops, this needs to adjust the black a little bit. All right, so here it is. I have my resources over here. I have my project up here, but let's go up to what they're calling low resolution. We are below that. We're now going to 78. And remember, you can go up to 10, 240 by 288. So that is big. Look at that. Notice how YouTube from filling almost all the screen is now about half as big. And then we have, this is the window I was working in, but where did my mouse go? Here, bring it over here, click on this. And so we could, bring Final Cut Pro down like that. And there is a very big window. I can still comfortably read all the text at the bottom here, but it's definitely smaller. I don't know that I need it that small. I do like, look at this, how I have all my resources easily available here. Audio tracks, here is title tracks, audio. Oh, I was experimenting with this the other day. Up here is a temple video I'm working on right now. See that? So here's my project, here's my resources, and here's my timeline in this enormous field down here. Now let's try to expand this to full screen. So this comes over here. And let's go click on a bit of video there. Notice this, we now have extra space here and there, but I still have my color correction up there. So I can go over here and I can open up my transitions. And here is my color correction. But I would like to see this expanding down in this because I have from the very beginning of this video and going all the way over to here, that is the ending of this video. I really wish I could do control zero and zoom the timeline to fit the screen lengthwise. But the idea of being able to see every clip and still be able to grab a four or five second clip just like that right there that is pretty magical. Look at all the resources we've got over here. And I can see each one of them and I can read the file name. To be honest with you, I don't know that I would choose. I would probably 
I will go back to the resolution that's a little bit, gets me a little bit larger text just like that, because, but I can see the individual, I can see individual hairs blowing in the wind in this 8K video. That, and it's big, I can, it's bigger than the 100 inch screen that is hanging on the wall about seven feet away there. That is a big screen. You can see it over the top here. You can see the gray screen in the back. And this is bigger. Guys, I'm so I'm gonna go back out. Let's go back up here. Sorry for moving my head. Go to the green. Go to here. Oh, we're not even at the high risk. We're at the medium risk. <laughs> Crazy. So if we went to the 10K, this is what just happened. Let's go. I don't have to expand this further. You get the idea. Here's my entire timeline. This is my tools, tools and resources. And I have all this real estate here and here. To be honest, at the 10K, I can read the file names, but they're not big. Let's go back to the 78K, what is that, 76K, or 7.6K is what I mean to say. This is very comfortable. This is where I want to live. There you have it, guys. I cannot really envision, of course, the other, like we did before, you can blow it up all the way, but what you're looking at here, this is big, very big. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in this laptop. Boom, and we don't need to just play settings. So see, this is how small this is now. Here's my resources. I know you've all seen this kind of situation. And now I'm blowing it up to fill the fill screen. But here's my transitions. Here's my timeline. And to see that, I'm going to have to see blow it up a bit so I can see what my transition is here. And I would have to blow it up more to change the length of that transition. So again, let me bring that back up. Connecting. Wow. It's a bunch of audio there. Wow, guys. This is where I'm going to be living. This is a good place. I'm going to bring this side in so that I can have resource folders on the desktop sitting next to me. And I'm going to bring this side in about that much so that I can have text and maybe a web page open over there. But this is it right here. And the thing is, I don't need additional monitors because I can have multiple windows open. Let's go up. There. Now it's down. Here's the web. Here's a folder with resources and here's my workspace. This workspace can be a lot bigger, but I can still see other things going on. This is definitely where I'm gonna be happy.